Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. This Patterson neighborhood's a prime example of Jersey's diversity with the Bengal Pharmacy, a Peruvian restaurant, and a Spanish bodega, all located on Bangladesh Boulevard. Many here received U.S. Census forms, but feel reluctant to fill them out, citing the Trump administration's latest crackdown on undocumented immigrants. You know, they don't have no paper. They think they're doing that. The sense that they're going to get, you know, like the eyes going to come in and pick them up. People are afraid because of the whole world is going on right now. People are, are scared, they're going back home. The U.S. Supreme Court shot down the president's attempt to add a citizenship question to the census last year. This new memo attempts to track down and exclude undocumented immigrants from the official census count by using unnamed databases, information permitting the president to the extent practicable to identify those without documents, stating, respect for the law and protection of the integrity of the democratic process warrant the exclusion of illegal aliens from the apportionment base. That's used to decide the number of seats a state gets in Congress. It's having a chilling effect on immigrants completing the census. They're just precautious of like what they want to send, what they want people to know, what they want the whole system to know. The ripple effect is the, in the increase in paranoia among the immigrant community to participate in this, thinking that if they do participate, even though it clearly says on the website for the census that this is confidential and will not be shared, that he's saying exactly the opposite of that when he says that we will gather the information from other sources in order to be able to exclude these individuals. It's an uphill battle. The census count nationwide and in New Jersey is running at over 60%, but here in Patterson, it's under 50%, and critics say the president's latest move won't help. While the memo will be challenged in court and the U.S. Constitution clearly states everyone must be counted, officials fear the memo's impact on New Jersey's census results. It could yield an undercount of Jersey's almost half million undocumented immigrants. Meanwhile, the federal government uses population as a guide to distribute resources, including money for schools and hospitals. And if we are undercounted, then that means that we will not get the resources that our communities need, which is um, horrible because right now we are in the middle of the pandemic and we see how much we need these resources, right? And we see that our communities, our migrant, black and brown communities are being hit the most. New Jersey taxpayers already get back only 82 cents of every dollar they spend in federal taxes. And because the state's undocumented immigrants comprise 5% of the population, a census undercount could also cost New Jersey some political clout in Washington. If you discourage another half half million immigrants from responding. Our population count that should be around 10 million drops to nine and a half or nine. And when that happens, we risk losing another congressional seat like we did 10 years ago. Census 2020 workers won't knock on doors during the pandemic, but Passaic County freeholder Jack Bartlett's overseeing census efforts here, bringing signage to businesses. With a pandemic extension, the effort to count New Jersey will continue until October 31st. In Patterson, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.